right. I saw this on Twitter. This show's insane, yo. <laughs> this show's insane. It's crazy that shit actually existed. So they took a block. Oh, this is the whole first episode? But the first minute gives you all you need. Yeah, the intro is yeah. So this, and what year is this from? 2006. Yeah. So I feel like that's too late in the game for this kind of shenanigan. Definitely. <laughs> like this wasn't, so they take a black family and a white family. And then they have to, they, they literally do blackface on the whole white family and make them live as black people mm -hmm. and vice versa on the black family. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's crazy, bro. Let's fucking go. My name is Bruno, and I became a black person. Wow! <laughs> right out of the gate. <laughs> Starting strong. He doesn't look black, like a black dude. He looks, honestly, still, he looks like a white dude with just, like, who works in the sun a lot, right? <laughs> it's kind of true, yeah. Like, I'm sorry, bro. No one knew that I was actually black when I... Yo, this is straight out of like a Dave Chappelle sketch. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, but what the hell is this? Is that guy passing as white? I think so. It's better, better. Than, the, it's it's, better than, yeah, than the opposite. It's, it's yeah. better than the other guy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he looks like he could be like a, a, a light-skinned I mean, you wouldn't even... Man. I don't think you would even think twice about it. You think? Yeah, he's actually... I mean, I have to see it good. in motion, though. Uh, but. but I'm sorry. I got to go back to my homie here. My name is Bruno, and I became a black person. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but this is just wrong. This is just wrong as hell, man. <laughs> oh, whoa. Somebody in the chat said they literally won an Emmy for makeup. No way. Did they really? Can you fact check that? <laughs> That's true. That's the funniest shit ever. Uh, black, white, Emmy, 2006. I, I'd love to see the process. Oh, my God. Outstanding makeup for a series. <laughs> Holy shit. Ah! winner. No. Golly. <laughs> no. Jesus. No. Do they show the makeup process? Because I'd love to see that. <laughs> it's got to be in this, I think. Maybe there's Can you find a timestamp, yeah, baby? Behind the scenes. While I watch this? Yeah. Oh, it's got to be in the episode because yeah, they, they're probably. very proud of it. Yeah. <laughs> Holy God. <laughs> no one knew that I was actually black when I had my white makeup. Pull up the picture of Chappelle in white, doing white. white. It's literally, it's like identical. Chappelle used to do this character where he would dress up as a white dude and he would cruise through the world. Yeah, look at that shit. <laughs> it's the same shit. He would go buy like a newspaper and they'd be like, it's okay, you don't have to pay for it. You're white, you don't have to pay for things. Wait, I think you're confusing that with the Eddie Murphy uh, No, that. Sketch. Oh, shit. Eddie Murphy did a very similar thing on SNL way back in like, oh, the 80s. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. That's one of the best sketches ever. Uh, around like, the four Yeah, minutes. this one. Yeah. 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 There, that, they're like, no, you don't have to pay for that, sir. You're white. <laughs> but maybe, I mean, Chappelle's, I, I don't remember if that exact bit was one from one or the other, but they were similar. You think we can watch this without getting claimed? No, it's SNL. NBC will oh. claim. God, fuckers. I just want to show that one scene. So funny. So, Someone in chat said Hassan watched it all on Twitch. <laughs> of course he did. Like all seasons. Of course he did. <laughs> Somebody's... Uh, of this show, right? Not not of SNL. Of the black like it, no, oh, the black white sorry, show. Yeah, the, I, the, the original one. I doubt have. anyone's claiming black white. Everyone's like, I disavow <laughs> no that shit. I don't want to yeah. claim that. Yeah. <laughs> it's around the uh, 4 minutes 50 seconds for the makeup. But if you Oh, I knew it! If you want to keep it here, you'll I'm, still, in the beginning, it's still good. I'm going to watch the beginning, and then I'm going to, I want to see the makeup process. For six weeks, two families, my family and a black family, got together in a house in the valley in L.A., and we decided to swap races. Stop it. <laughs> we decided to. <laughs> we decided to do that, yeah. They're like, the nice thing about pretending to be black is I can stop being black anytime. <laughs> All right. It's true. Holy shit. Would go into makeup and become the opposite race. We became black. What the hell? That's the worst one. They gave her like a wig? What the fuck? Dude, this is so fucked up. I mean, so this was like an acclaimed show at the time. Man, the 2000s were wild. I mean, Especially their hearts. The reality can we say their hearts were in the right place here? I 
I mean, the fact that Ice Cube was supposedly behind this tells me that, like, this was some harebrained idea of his that he thought would come across not offensive or something. I, I don't know. I don't know what the history behind it is. Well, if it won an Emmy, I don't think anyone was offended at the time. I have to imagine there were people criticizing it even at the time, even if they were the minority. <laughs> they became white. Then we moved in together. We're talking living together, you know? It's not like, you know, we're going to see them for a little party, get together, and they go their way, and we go our way. No, at night, we all live under the same... Bro, <laughs> I can't. This shit's crazy as fuck. I like how it goes black too. This shit is the whole so experience it opened my eyes, just made me more aware of my race. Yo, what the hell? It made him to Theo Vaughn. <laughs> what the fuck? It's like uncanny. I don't know. It's just so wrong. I'm a pioneer in this because this is something that's never been done. Changing color to see what it would be like was completely transformative. We got jobs, went shopping. Hey, white man. We would go out together. He's the honky. We were undercover. <laughs> we had hidden cameras. We were sneaking around. Hello. <laughs> Hello, I am a black man. What kind of black activities is going on here today? Hello, fellow churchgoers. Is there any black activities today I can partake oh, in? Oh, whoa. What? Okay, somebody in the chat says that Bruno, the, the, the white guy that's wearing the blackface, says the hard R N-word like 15 times in this show. Yo! Well, he's, <laughs> he's got to blend in. He got the N-word pass. Wait, is that, is that... If that's in the show uncensored, I don't want it to sneak up on us. Wait, he got the N-word pass from Ice Cube. <laughs> I mean, he's the producer. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy, bro. This is crazy. Apparently, he does a rap, he too, rapped, people are saying. Dude. We gotta find oh, people are rap. saying N-word warning. I don't know if we should keep watching. I'm this. sorry, but I, I gotta see it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't click away. If he's dropping hard R's, I gotta see that. We did it all. We're the Wurgles. A uh, typical white American family. From Santa Monica. I just wanted to really poke into the issue of race. And <laughs> this guy, like, by the way, he doesn't... This guy's, like, ambiguously white, I feel like, already. He's got a weird thing going on with his face. Uh, nah. He's, I feel like you could find a whiter-looking dude. That's all I'm saying. I mean, if they really wanted to, to go all You know all what I'm out, saying? I suppose, but... Just saying. It's just not saying. edited, meaning... Are you saying it's not censored? Yeah. Okay. You heard, you caught him say the N-word? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> it's, <laughs> I gotta see, what was the context? Uh, I don't even know. All right. I don't I, know. I, uh, okay, let's, let's keep going. And see if any flames would emerge. My mindset in life, I get from my father. As an immigrant, came to this country starting from scratch and demonstrated that you get what you want by working extremely hard. I know what slavery stands for. I don't know how to play. I was curious to see how the world would react to me as a black person. Many times I was shocked. I feel racist. We are oh. the Sparks family. We just a typical <laughs> One of the black mods just sent me a compilation of all of the time. Give me, give me, give me. The N word, but it's censored. Oh so okay, yeah, 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 <laughs> Get some attitude. Yeah, sorry, but that, I love the title of this Black White Bruno N Word Compilation. Awesome. From some prick white guy. And I won't have all the history of resentment mm -hmm. right. that a black man has. And I'll be able to f with him. Oh, just, yeah. you know, uh, mentally spar with him and go, like, you know, it's, it's, hey, n <laughs> guy. <laughs> Why? He would call a white guy that, he's saying? Yeah, and he's explaining this to a black guy. Wow, this is really <laughs> bad. But he's like, I won't take it personally like you guys. I'll be able to, you know, I'll be able to mentally spar with them. 
I used to work as a doorman at a disco, you know, and if somebody came up intoxicated or didn't have the right dress on, you know, they say, come on, you know. Wait, that was him? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bruno. He's not even using it in a believable way. Oh, no, Bruno, please. Also, drop in the hard ER. I don't think anyone's buying it. I still done that. Now I just, you know, mm hmm. Yeah, that's right. I'm there. You know, just. I don't think the goal is to pretend you're black, right? It's just to, like, see what it feels like when you have dark skin. No, I mean, it seems like the premise of the show is pretend that, that you're black. Well, they're, they're like exchanging lives. It, you know, it's like that, that uh, wife swap show that mm -hmm. existed where like two moms from different families would swap for a week or whatever. It's that, but with a really racist slant. <laughs> Those focus groups were really eye opening. I look forward to having someone say, hey, nigga, you know, you're a son of a. I hate you, nigga. You said, uh, you know, you guys are going to get a lot more out of this than I am because, right. you know, you're going to be black right. and I'm going to be white. Right. Okay. Well, you said it was going to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, so far, I'm kind of waiting for somebody to go, hey, nigga. You know, but, but God, would you stop? You really? <laughs> Bruno didn't want to go back. He wanted to stay black. Everybody. Yeah, he liked it. He's. I wish they'd done, you know, more white jokes, frankly. I, I, thought, I thought that, that, that that's, that's what it was all about. I know, I know. That white stuff, and y'all are gonna be happy. You're a N word. N word. <laughs> That's so funny. What is? Well, that we that we watch this whole comedy show, and everybody's saying <laughs> we get in the car and go. Oh, it's funny when they said the end. Oh man, he's feeling himself way too too much in this. Oh, this is our thumbnail. Nice, our new thumbnail. James Charles wears diapers. <laughs> Great. <laughs> get him. Wow, this show's incredible, you guys. <laughs> oh, he's so racist. Like, but not because he's even saying that word. You could tell. He's just like, yo, I'll be able to deal with it. Nobody's really being super racist to me yet. This sucks. This sucks, <laughs> dude. Being black's boring. <laughs> Jesus Christ. By the way, if you guys are actually interested, so there there was a writer, there's a book called Black Like Me I read in college. I don't know if you guys have heard of that. Mm-mm. Um, this guy, back in like the 40s and 50s, he underwent a really dangerous procedure to turn his skin black. He like dyed his skin like permanently black. Wait, he was a writer, journalist, and uh, he went to this like live in the South with nothing and actually like immersed himself in a genuine way. And uh, it's very, it's a very good book. It's actually like a historical book really highly recommended never heard of this before yeah black like me it's a really good book uh he died actually of the of from the ink he actually died from the what? procedure yeah Jesus. yeah he was he but he like um he actually became like super depressed and fucked up from the experience because he actually went down there during jim crow and shit he did not die from the ink yes he did i'm i'm looking at it right now he died from diabetes in the 80s Oh, I thought he got... Wait, hang on. The author... There have been persistent rumors that Griffin died of skin cancer, which purportedly developed from his large use of doses of whatever this is to darken his skin. Uh, he did not have skin cancer, but experienced temporary and minor symptoms from taking the drugs, especially fatigue and nausea. So, yeah, I guess that's hmm. like an urban legend that he died from that. I swear I learned that you know in school. It's so crazy. A teacher would give you bad info? No I mean, in college, you'd think they would fucking... Fact check a little bit? But anyway, it is a very good book. It's a short read, too, relatively, but Black Like Me, yeah. Uh, unlike this show. Um, let's see the makeup, uh, the makeup here. You, as an adult, should know that you just don't call a woman a bitch. I didn't know that. I really didn't know what to expect, but I didn't know it was going to be that intense. She's going to be crying a lot. She keeps f***ing me, though. She. Let me Rose, see. Where's the makeup here? I'm 17 here? years old. 4.30. And I'm a white girl. It's here we go. so exciting to be a part of this project. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. I'll pick up some other affectations and characteristics and maybe end up walking a little differently. My name is Carmen, and I'm going to become black. I'm getting spray painted. <laughs> I'm turning black gradually. I'm Brian. I'm 40. And I'm going to become a white man. 
still amazed at all those colors making me white. I see browns and blues and greens and reds, but the finished product, I look like a white guy. I'm Nick and I'm 16 and I'm going. All right, is there any other good compilations or not? Nah? Not that I've seen. Apparently, it, is that the theme song? It, thing yeah, that we got think, tonight? yeah, I think think so. It says that it's gonna premiere at the end of that video, and there's like different scenes from the show in that music video. So, yeah, I think it just like wait, I want to see the dad rapping. I heard he does that, the white dad. Uh, let's see. Everyone in the chat saying I gotta watch the rap. <laughs> okay, let's find the Bruno rap. <laughs> Also, apparently, the girl does slam poetry, people are saying. Come on. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, black, white, Bruno rep. Uh, Hassan reacts to <laughs> Bruno's racist rap. That's the first result. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to see. Is he, he can't be rapping in the first episode already, can he? <laughs> just like yeah, right so good. <laughs> I needed to write a poem and, and memorize it. I Wait. really love words. I do. And like to me, you can never have enough adjectives. I, it sounds like she's working on something rap related. My name is Sheree Busby, and my favorite entertainer is Prince. Okay, blessed. I'm an avid Michael Jackson fan. My name is Jonathan. My favorite performer is Dave Chappelle. Uh, my name is Rose, and my favorite entertainer. Yo, this is so weird. You imagine people are like, are you pretending to be black right now? <laughs> like, yeah. are you are you wearing paint? <laughs> How do you explain that? <laughs> ma'am, yeah. ma'am, why is there black uh, paint coming off you at the moment? Funny. People in my hometown used to be paranoid that there were like fake Arabs infiltrating the mosques and stuff. So, oh, for real? Yeah, like the government. I could see the government doing that. Yeah. They're fucked I mean, up. they literally did. Yeah, they actually, they definitely <laughs> they, do, do they that. They definitely do that. Yeah, they were always looking at me. I'm like, nah, I'm just... <laughs> You're FBI like, for sure. Yeah. It's Fucking like, dude, fed. if I was under... You think the government's going to send a white guy undercover? Right. They'd come in all dark and fucked up looking. <laughs> or just like way over the top, you know what I mean? They sent him Bruno. I <laughs> just they kind Bruno. of love the cranberries, so... The cranberries?! This, this bitch is white! <laughs> That's the whitest Get her out of here! Red alert, red alert. Crickets. <laughs> I love that. It's just crickets. <laughs> cranberries. cranberries. That Off verse. Yeah. Ian, what do you think about this? <laughs> <laughs> I was just curious if you had thoughts about this social experiment. Oh, that was the wrong button. <laughs> but I'll press it anyway. <laughs> okay, there's the Ian's thoughts, ladies and gentlemen. What exactly. are you afraid of, Ian? You only have one <laughs> opportunity to make a first impression. So my first impression was like, I love the cranberries. What was... At least she's being honest, you know. Was that? Whenever we do our poems, we have to... By the way, the cranberries... I mean, I feel bad for the kids, like, getting fucking involved this, in this. <laughs> like, this, this is, is horrible. horrible. You're lying to these people. Who are the cranberries? I, have no it's idea. The, I think they go, it's zombie, yeah. zombie, zombie, zombie. Okay. <laughs> it's like the whitest band <laughs> ever. Yeah. It is the whitest band you yeah, could possibly hear with. Got it. Stand up. Wait, she tells them she's in blackface at the end? Okay, I gotta watch this. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know how to face this. I'm standing in the mirror faceless, my mom is at my shoulder telling me to escape this. There's so many far before me with war life stories of prison and death, I'll take a deep ass breath. What, what, what is this that torments my existence, that removes the joy in every single instance? Am I doomed Whoa. to this depression? I can't wait to see how, I can't wait. <laughs> she gonna be like, I went grocery shopping, the apples were two for one. <laughs> Bought some apples, son. <laughs> Their shit's all deep and crazy. Who got, got the idea that I was ready for this? Yeah, I good question. I felt like a lamb in a lion's den. I'm always down for my black people, though sometimes they be acting so evil. Yeah, this is episode one. This is like right out the thing. gate. Oh. Episode one, baby. Straight to slam poetry. <laughs> I feel bad for this girl. That's horrible. I mean, that's that's horrible traumatic. Position to put somebody in. How my patience oh boy. remains. Though at times I feel an alien blood. By the way, you know you could go sit with them if you're white. You don't have to pretend to be black to go sit with them. Right. 
yeah, that would be a much better way to, you know, uh, like and, I'm uh, sure you'd be culture. welcome as yeah. a, as yourself. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, this is brutal. <laughs> through these veins, and this thought sustains the alien was me. These people rock, and they're speaking about being black from their heart of hearts. And I'm hoping to God that this sounds black. Okay. Oh my God, you did not. Thank you. Uh, Many geez. words, oh my life. The so simple complexities of a human psyche. To even relish in my thoughts of romantic stride. My skin to his. Holy fuck. <laughs> That's white folks. In your head. In zombie, your head. Zombie. My touch returned, a mutual undulation of want and reciprocal acceptability and performance, a ritual so profound, the taste of sex, the body flush with hot and sticky fantastic, a basket Ew. of unbroken fruit, a dripping bouquet of red ripe Jesus, woman, lady, the chill. pulp of the soul spread lavishly over the human chemistry. When discovery, look <laughs> at his face. <laughs> well, she—they were doing about like identity and race, and then she came out with a poem about like sex. Yeah, That's an interesting choice. And pleasure were encouraged. Thank you. What on earth? I mean, it could have been worse. She could have tried to speak from the heart about being black. That's true. That would have been way worse. That's true. At least you know, kind she's of being herself. That whole, she, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah that's true. Oof, though. Wow. Oh. Wow, 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 wee, wow. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Were you nervous? Shitless. Yeah, I, I felt <laughs> no. that you were nervous. So yeah. This uh, you have a lot of big words. I have a lot of big words. I don't get, you right. know, and you have to know your audience and know that if you're speaking to an audience of people, that not everybody's going to understand what you're talking about. That was hard. This project is so much more unnerving. She's like, oh, I'm so glad to be white again. At the end of the day, <laughs> so stressful. And probing than you can possibly expect it to be. So how was today for you, Ross? Yeah, I was just about to ask you. It was incredible. Some Yo, I need more of that. I put that right into my veins, man. I got to look for more of this. This era of reality television is is never going to be matched again. Dude, inject this right into my veins. What is he doing now? Life in a certain That's way and not, bullshit, not expect. When I tell example. you about my life, you say it's a bad day when I tell you that uh, someone um, doesn't acknowledge my existence or if I speak, they don't speak. Everybody have a shitty day on that particular day that nobody wants to speak or I don't get good service or it takes them too long to, to, to deal with me because I'm black. I've been black for damn 41 years almost. I know when I'm being bullshitted because I'm black or when somebody having a bad day. And that's the thing that you won't grasp or you won't understand because you want to debate every goddamn thing that we sit up in here and say. And we're just trying Yeah. Uh, the rap part, please. <laughs> it is a little bit more difficult. This, it's gonna find you. If you go in with an open heart and love, and, and <laughs> Guys, where's the rap? I need it. What my life I, is, I get I don't know where it is. I, I, I've been searching around for it. I can't find it. It's not find uploaded. It's you guys got any intel on where this rap is located? Let me check the sounds video again. Here, here's the whole, here's the season one. So let's go to episode two. We got it all on YouTube here. Previously on Black White. I'm Brian. I'm going to become a white man. <laughs> my name is Bruno. I'm going to become a black person along with my family. Oh my God. Bruno, I am never around black people. This is one of the last oh. bastions of Caucasian America. And I felt proud and beautiful. Wow, there's some neat shops. Maybe I'll come back down again with Rose. There is some neat shops. Oh. You got a lead? I think I got it. All right, give it, give that here. Mega awesome nerd coming Thank through Thank you, Mega here. awesome. One of uh, the most incredible places I think I've ever been and heard anybody speak. Super racist. Okay, I, I think can't this imagine. Is it. Wait, I think she's coming out as white. How it would feel. For some, it might feel pretty like whatever, and some others could be deeper. And I don't want to start thinking that I know because I'd like you to tell me. So please. Give me what you got. To me, you seem uh, extremely intelligent and well-spoken. And I appreciate that you uh, take this opportunity, not as entertainment, but that you 
truly appreciate. I think it already happens. Some I've been heard since the beginning. I tell you, and I don't exactly know how to say. I sent you. I sent you. Oh. I'm actually a white girl in black makeup. Yes! I live in Santa Monica. I've told you the truth since the beginning, except for the fact that I've walked in here in makeup, and that is the lie. This writing class is one of the most incredible places I think I've ever been and heard. Yo, these people are just gonna go home and feel like shit. Like, that's just so fucked up. <laughs> nice job, Ice Cube. <laughs> Somebody said uh, they donated $20 and said when I was in sixth grade, they used this to sh uh, show to teach us about racism. <laughs> Showing sixth graders this like like because the show exists or because of what's in the show. I have a feeling right I have a feeling It unfortunately wasn't not for the reasons it probably should have been shown <laughs> Anybody speak I can't imagine how it would feel for some it might feel pretty like whatever and Some others could be deeper and I don't want to start thinking that I know because I'd like you to tell me so please Give me what you got. To me, you seem uh, extremely intelligent and well-spoken. And I appreciate that you uh, take this opportunity, it's not as entertainment, but that you truly appreciate what you can get out of it and what anybody else who sees this can get out of it. So I do appreciate that and that you are genuine. Right, what are they going to say there on TV? I just want to say to you, I have no animosity or ill will. I can only imagine how hard this might be for you. So I just want to let you know that if you need to lean on me, and I'll hope to speak for everybody else, to just lean on us. I think it is important that you do befriend us and get to know us in ways that you might have never known us before. That's nice. Very gracious. All right, let's get to dad rapping. Uh, yeah, I sent the uh, link here in the chat. Yes, baby. Let's go. I haven't seen this yet, so. I'm living for this. Why, you're afraid of some hard ends? Uh, if it happens, it happens. We'll find out. Okay, guys. Uh, this. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, is something that I I made actually. Um, oh, God, he months and months ago. <laughs> it's what? called Midlife Rap. Months before this project even came about, no, I bought shit. a camera and a computer so that I can do my own video projects, and I ended up doing a rap video. After what? watching rap videos. For a long time and getting kind of frustrated, I thought, you know, the middle-aged guy or the middle-aged person should have an opportunity to speak his or her mind as well. And it's sort of a... You know who, you know who deserves a voice? Middle-aged white people. <laughs> I got sick of watching black people do rap. <laughs> the most silenced group in I America. Know. Nope. They're just... <laughs> they don't have a strong enough voice in today's world. This guy's sort like Robert Downey Jr.'s character in Tropic Thunder. Mm -hmm. He's too deep in. Uh, I don't know who I am. <laughs> Commentary on the today's rap scene. Nick, you might in particular like this. I'm anxious to show it to the Sparks and see how they feel about it. So the fact that he did this before the show is pretty weird. <laughs> it's <laughs> like you have a weird agenda, dude. <laughs> Seems like the perfect opportunity. But ladies and gentlemen, this is called Midlife Rap. Hmm. Oh. I'm a midlife rapper, and I rap from A to Z. I'm middle-aged and dapper with a vocabulary. No See, that, that's, that's racist. <sighs> He's like, I'm tired of these black rappers with no vocabulary. <laughs> this guy is so brutally cringe. Who is this guy? Like, is, does he have like a... I saw someone say he's an actor. We don't well, talk he about might Bruce. be an actor, but I don't think it means it's fake. I mean, a lot of people no. that go on reality shows are actors. Just yeah, They want to sure. be on TV. That's yeah, why I'm, I'm wondering if, if he's, like, just popped saying. up anywhere else. Because this is brutal. No, I don't wear giant golden chains, bag of pants, half down. <laughs> Dude. Dude, what the fuck, bro? On my butt. I don't disrespect the ladies. I don't call them hoes and sluts, sluts, sluts. Where's the super vocabulary you were talking about? <laughs> I don't even know what's it. I like how it goes. I don't call them sluts, 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 yeah, make sluts, the sluts. Echo, like 20 make times. the echo. <laughs> I didn't know. Really, he's doing the head move like a black guy, and he's really slamming rappers. You know, just really ragging on them. I tell tales that are squeaky clean. I stay out of police station. 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 I mean, it was just really obnoxious. It
horrible. <laughs> I mean, it's the worst. Thing. It's actually it's just super racist, disgusting. Oh god. This guy's a freak. It was just like ridiculous. I work hard to feed my children well, teach them lessons about life. You slapped your so-called bitches, if not stabbed them once or twice. You just hear the words. <laughs> what? Not a little bit harsh and controversial. I don't blame anyone for my plight. I don't blame the man who done me wrong. I don't wave my hands all around. I don't bend my fingers up and down. I don't mumble incoherently. I don't wear a big old nasty frown. Frown, 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 frown. Yeah! What? Dude, this is like straight gnarly this is like clan membership <laughs> so now it's so much worse than i thought it was yeah this be. is like this is, holy this shit. Is top tier it was at this moment that he knew <laughs> he fucked up <laughs> i wonder if this guy learned anything at the end of this or if it just reinforced all of his racial stereotypes Dude, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> he is feeling himself. <laughs> sure, what do you think of that? <laughs> what do you mean? What a fucking I mean, asshole. I kind of ragged on the rapper. Does that offend you? No, I mean... I like think he, he did that thinking <laughs> we were going to get angry and stir up something. It didn't even bother me. I just thought, like... <laughs> How ridiculous you are. I mean, I look at it like, just like when a comedian talks about, yeah. I mean, I just look at it like that. I don't know if it was meant to get under my skin type things or not, but Probably it didn't good. offend me at all. I, I didn't even care about it. That's his creative expression. Let him have it. Actually, I think both me and my mom were really skeptical. It feels a little bit like making a separation between two <laughs> different cultures that might not exist. What do you mean cultures? Like with a midlife man in white America versus the black rapper, which seemed to be the well, main... By the way, I never mentioned black. Personally... Oh, stop it, bro. Shut up. What this guy's... fucking dick. Yo, this guy's whole family's like, please, God, I don't want this back. <laughs> so, check it out. Um, here's Bruno, his IMDb. He was indeed an actor. Um, curiously, his career <laughs> kind of dries oh, up. Okay. Uh, right around this time. I mean, he has a few more recent credits, but it, like short. This is probably like a student film or something. I wonder if we could get him on. I want to ask him if this was real. Oh my god. I bet we could. I mean, look, the cursed man. He played Uncle Bob in 2020 after a seven year hiatus. Hard hit and roll, dude. The um, cursed man. My boy, Uncle Bob. I can reach out. Yeah, let's see if we can get any of these people on the show. Okay, I'll, I'll reach out to him. <laughs> I mean,. If I were him, I would never want to talk about this ever again. The only reason if he, if I were him is if it was like set up, you know, if it was like scripted. Oh, I mean, I'm sure. Yeah, I mean. Like if the show was like, extent. make this rap and then we're going to show it to them. Right. Then they did him dirty. I guess it's possible. It's possible. It, but I don't know. The guy's, he's, he's a great actor if, if, if that's the case. I don't think that's what happened. I don't like that rap. And I've told him before, it's really offensive to me. I, I squirm just because I think, especially being in the center of something that is so racially conscious. But see, you can't. You know why? Because we're taught growing up that these kind of things That's his happen. Expression. And we he just, can do what he you know, say. we don't take it yeah. personal. But who's we? Blacks. I'm. Um, Absolutely, totally impressed with your creativity and ingenuity. Um, I was offended by the rap song. Mm -hmm. What? There's a tone to it. Mm -hmm. That's what it that, is. It, um, it's the same issue I've had with you throughout the project. I don't experience Bruno having compassion. That's good. At least his family's setting him straight. God damn, bro. <laughs> Shit. That was gnarly, I gotta say. Way worse than I expected. <laughs> Way worse. There was three seasons of it? Yeah. The show came back up after hashtag Ice Cube trended after people learned that he was one of the executive producers. <laughs> wow. It was a bad day, not a good day. Well, you know, I think the kids are, are at least coming off relatively well there, like with good intentions. The dad is a piece of shit. That guy is just irredeemably racist. <laughs> Seriously. 
Wow, that was a rabbit hole. <laughs> I saw some people in the chat say that uh, Bruno and the wife got divorced after this. Did they really? <laughs> well, good for her because... <laughs> this was like too much. Yeah, I don't think... They got divorced after the show, people are saying. Wow, Mr. Bruno ruined his whole damn life by... <laughs> Yeah, the, I, I agree. Someone said the daughter and mother don't look that bad. I agree. It seems like they have good intentions. 